So we're going to look at using Windows shared resources in Zorin OS 7 core. Just like in a Windows system, you open File Manager and there's a button for browsing the network. It shows that I'm on a Windows network. Double click and here's my work group. So I open this up and and it doesn't work. Uh, so there are other things I need to do to make this work. Up here in the upper right corner you will find the location options, a little gear, and I will click connect to server. Now I need to type in an address. This is kind of like a web address except the resources and SMB, a Samba resource. SMB colon slash slash. I'll put in the name of the computer. I could put in the name of the share as well, but I'll just do the computer name for now. It's asking me for a password and a username. This is the login information for the computer I'm connecting to, the Windows computer. I'm telling it to remember only until I log out. So I will need to do this every time I restart the computer. And here we are. These are the three shares that are available. I'll open this folder and I don't have any files in it. But in any case, this is the this is the shared folder right here on the network. And if I right click on there, I can tell it to add a book bookmark so I can get back to it more easily. I'll unmount the share and then we'll try to remount it. Double click on the bookmark. Again, authenticate myself. If I didn't want to do this all the time, I would tell it to remember forever. Uh, and there we are, just like last time. So it's just an extra step to, to get a Windows share. You can also share uh, resources like printers. And to do this is a little more complicated. We'll go to Accessories and open the Terminal window. Here's the terminal. And I'm going to type in the name of a program, System Config Printer. This is a program that doesn't appear in the Applications menu, so I need to start it from the terminal. And there it is. I'll tell it uh, that I want to add a new printer and that is a networked printer and this is a printer that is attached to a Windows computer and so I'm going to use Windows printer via Samba so the Samba protocol is already written in here I'll put in the name of the host that is the name of the computer a slash and then the share name for the printer that I defined when I told the Windows computer that I was sharing the printer hit forward and as is often the case with Linux there are a lot of drivers already available this is a Samsung printer so I'll go down to to Samsung and this is an ML 2010 and I'll use the recommended driver. Now I can put in some descriptive information. I like these, okay. I'll put in a location. I'll write the name of the computer that uh, the printer is physically attached to. So now I can print a test page. And it's done. So the printer will be printing this out. So we'll close the system config printer ap application. And let's t see, let's see if this printer shows up. So I'll go into the menu, go to system settings, and we'll open the printer settings.
and there it is. And here I have options. These are you know, things like I want to use the duplexer, portrait or landscape and such like. And I've set this printer as my default. Now I'll close the terminal by typing exit. And that's it. That's how you use Windows Shared Resources.